Several countries recommend influenza vaccination for healthcare workers. In fact, healthcare workers are at risk for different reasons. First of all, because they are in contact with high-risk patients, and uh, during this contact, they can transmit influenza uh, to these patients, uh, in which influenza can, uh, uh, at the end, complicate the underlying chronic disease of the patient. Moreover, there are healthcare workers that work in settings like intensive care unit, uh, in which an influenza uh, can be uh, even associated with death in these patients. Then healthcare workers, uh, at the end, uh, if acquired influenza, had to remain at home uh, during uh, uh, the influenza season, so when there are in the hospital several patients uh, that are admitted for respiratory tract infections. And for this reason, influenza vaccination, apart from the benefit for the patients, has benefits in terms of reduction of costs uh, due to the absence of work uh, of these subjects. Uh, moreover, the other point uh, is that they can transmit uh, influenza, if they acquire influenza, in their households, transmitting the infections also uh, to uh, other uh, household members, uh, including children, if they have children. And we have also to consider that healthcare workers uh, can be old adults, and in this case, influenza vaccination is recommended for this reason, or otherwise, they can have some underlying disease uh, that uh, represent a, a risk for complicated influenza. So for this reason, it is extremely important to underline that influenza vaccination among healthcare workers is associated with significant benefits in terms of reduction of uh, influenza-related complications in their patients, in terms of reduction of uh, influenza transmission uh, among family members of healthcare workers, and in terms of reduction uh, reduction uh, of the number of days uh, lost from work. And finally, uh, the other important issue is represented by uh, the problem of the low vaccination coverage in this category. Uh, so uh, any efforts should be done in order to increase uh, influenza vaccination coverage because uh, nowadays in several countries, for example in Italy, uh, only one out of three healthcare workers receive uh, the vaccination. So uh, it is important uh, to uh, highlight the importance of the vaccination and uh, probably uh, to organize a sort of system, at least in big hospitals, uh, in which uh, the hospitals have something from the national health system, I mean, uh, like a premium from uh, the uh, healthcare systems, uh, if they reach high vaccination uh, coverage. So uh, the, the aim of the high vaccination uh, coverage should not be considered just uh, at a personal level, but uh, should be something uh, organized by the direction of the hospital and a target that could highlight the best hospital in terms of reduction of disease transmission.